Hey everyone, instead of reading Act 4 for Romeo and Juliet, we're going to be looking at some summaries of it. And again, I'm using Shakespeare.com and it's got some great resources at the top. We have the scene summaries and then we have a couple of videos which I suggest you check out after each act and scene. So let's take a look at the scene summary for Act 4. Um, we know Romeo and Juliet have parted. Um, they will no, they will not see each other alive again, sadly. Um, and we know that both of them have mentioned um, the suicide, which shows their mental state, which is very sad to think about. So we're going to find out what happens here. Juliet has been told that she will marry Paris this the, later this week or she will not have a home to go to. So um, Romeo is in Mantua. You know, think about what options does Juliet have? She can, um, you know, get kicked out of her parents' house. She can marry Paris or she could move to Mantua and be with her, her husband who she's married to. So let's take a look at the summary for Act 4. We've got Friar Lawrence, Paris, and Juliet, and here's our summary. Paris is busy making plans with Friar Lawrence for his upcoming wedding with Juliet. Juliet enters and sensing she's there for confession, Paris makes his exit. She's not really there for, for confession. She needs Friar Lawrence's help. A despairing Juliet begs Friar Lawrence's help in averting a marriage to Paris. Paris, If he can't help her, she has resolved to commit suicide. So this is like the sixth or seventh time Juliet has mentioned suicide. It shows her mental state. She's in a very sad, difficult situation. She mentioned suicide to her mother and her mother just says, I'm done with you. She, The nurse heard her say that. The nurse didn't really give her a whole lot of options. Um, so Juliet goes to Friar Lawrence. Friar Lawrence has a solution. She should go along with her father's plan. But when it's time to marry Paris, Juliet will take a potion that mimics death. Okay, so she will be sound asleep. She'll have such a low heart rate that and low breathing that no one will be able to tell that she's alive. And everyone will think that she is dead, except for Friar Lawrence. Okay. She'll be placed in the Capulet tomb where the friar will bring Romeo to wait for her to wake up. Juliet agrees to the plan, takes the vial, and leaves. So that is the end of the summary for Act 4, Scene 1. Let's look at Act 4, Scene 2. Here we go. We've got um, the Capulet family. Preparations for the upcoming Juliet Paris wedding are well underway at the Capulet household. Juliet arrives, tells her father she has decided to marry Paris after all. Capulet is so thrilled he decides to move the wedding up to the next day. So she doesn't have a couple of days to mentally prepare herself for this. She needs to take this potion tonight in order to avoid marrying Paris. But, you know, I keep thinking, Juliet she has the option to run away to Mantua with her husband. She decides to do something different. All right, we've got act four, scene three, and Juliet's going to follow through with her plan. Deciding it's now or never, Juliet sends the nurse away and takes a potion, knowing how terrifying it will be to wake up in her family's tomb. Now, I want to remind you, Tybalt was buried there a few days earlier. We're in Verona, Italy, it's been very hot the past few days because that's what Benvolio was mentioning before the fight scene. So we've got Tybalt's dead body in the tomb and it's been very hot. You can imagine what it's like. Now, if the mixture doesn't work, she has a plan B, her dagger. So that's like, I don't know, the eighth or ninth time she mentioned suicide. She's also worried the potion might actually be poison, but she decides to trust the friar. She drinks the potion, falls upon her bed. Let's go to scene four. We've got our summary. Lord Capulet, Lady Capulet, the nurse, they're rushing through with the wedding preparation. Lord Capulet stays up all night with his serving men to finish everything. Paris approaches. And Lord Capulet sends the nurse to wake up Juliet. So the nurse is going to go and wake up Juliet. The nurse finds Juliet apparently dead. She starts screaming. Hearing the commotion the nurse makes, Capulet and Lady Capulet 
enter horrified to find their daughter in such a state. So they become very, very upset. You know, they're, they're crying. Oh, my poor baby is dead. But mind you, about 24 hours earlier, they were saying, hey, we're going to kick you out of the house. I wish you were dead. You're dead to me if you don't marry this guy. So they have completely changed their tune since they found Juliet's body. Then Friar Lawrence and Paris arrive to fetch the bride for the wedding, and everyone grieves her loss. Um, Friar Lawrence also takes any evidence, the little vial that she had with the potion. So everyone is crying. They're upset. The wedding arrangements turn into funeral, funeral arrangements as Friar Lawrence takes charge of this situation. So that's Act 4. It's a, sh it's a shorter act, and it's basically... Juliet going through with um, this fake death, with this potion. Um, and we're going to find out that Friar Lawrence is going to send news to Romeo through a letter saying, hey, Juliet, she took a potion. Everything is okay. Just meet her at the tomb when she wakes up. And then you guys can run away together. So that's where we are. We will start Act 5 next video. But keep in mind, you can check out myshakespeare.com under each act and scene. There's little interviews, which I think are great because they get into the mindset of the character. So thanks for listening. Our next video will be for act five, and we will be going through those, listening to them, reading them, analyzing them. Thanks for listening. Take care, everybody. Be well.